so there's a lot going on this weekend. Here's one thing you definitely want to add to your list. It's the ninth annual Chili Festival in Elk Grove, and we have Dave Hipskin, the 2015 International Chili Society Champion. How does that title feel? That feels great. It <laughs> smells great. It smells amazing here. And I said this segment is so perfect for me because even though I'm not much of a cook, I try and I've tried chili and I messed it up and I've been so nervous and hesitant to ever try again. Well, chili is, a, is really the true American dish, and yeah. it, uh, uh, you know, there's one thing that uh, most Americans love is chili. There's so many different ways that you can make chili. Uh, uh, right today, we're doing a traditional Texas-style red with no beans, uh, but at our event tomorrow, we'll have green chili, we'll have salsa, we'll have chili with beans, and so it's kind of anything goes. So uh, if any kind of chili you like, we'll have it there tomorrow. And what I love is the event is free, right? The event is free. It's free to get in. Uh, there's in addition to the chili tastings that we've got, uh, chili tasting and voting begins at 12 noon tomorrow. Okay. Uh, but in addition to that, we've got uh, two live bands. We've got a kid zone. We have uh, 75 to 100 different craft vet uh, vendors and commercial vendors. Something uh, for the whole family. Something for the whole family, yes. What are you putting in here? What did you just pour well, in there? Well, what I did is that uh, in the, my traditional, in my uh, competition chili, which is the Texas Red, um, is we started by uh, browning the meat and, and then adding the broths. And, and we, put, we do it in several stages when we add the spices. And one thing that I found with the competition chili, and the judges are looking for things that are really consistent, really smooth, is that I've used, I use powders for all of them. And so uh, we try to uh, utilize the different types of powders and take advantage of when they're when when they're at their peak. So I, I we, we call it a dump. So I did my first dump of, of spices <laughs> at, at the Good when, term when in we the do, yeah when we do the when we do the the uh, excuse me when we do the, uh, the the broth and then as we cook for the three hours we continue to add additional spices that add either a front taste or a, a middle bite. So you want something that tastes good from front to back. Okay, and, and I read too that you said the key is using fresh ingredients. Is fresh, that how you get award-winning chili? Exactly. Use the, uh, we use tri-tip meat uh, and, okay. I, and I cube it uh, uh, right before the event and uh, uh, I always buy fresh uh, spices and powders and uh, so that I always have the, the, the most fresh items at the time. Tell me the spices and powders because I think that's <coughs> where I went wrong. Okay, well um, if you're making a good uh, chili to eat on a regular day to day, uh, fresh onions, you know, a good Vidalia onion and a nice uh, Gilroy garlic is good fresh. Mm -hmm. And then um, I like to use uh, uh, a, a nice blend of spices from a New Mexico hot into a California that's a little bit milder, a little pasilla that adds a little bit of boldness, a little sweetness to the chili. And so uh, I've researched the different kinds of chilies and how they affect the, uh, the, the chilies. And so when okay. you when you kind of figure that out, it's kind of like wine grapes, you know, yes. they're different varieties. Okay, if you have more questions, I know I do, you can ask them uh, tomorrow from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. This will be in the Old Town Elk Grove Plaza. And again, admission is free and you can uh, go to chilifestival.com, elkgrovechilifestival.com for more information. But we 